I've got the new Tangy Baxter rubber stamps here and they are fabulous. Love the whole sheet of them. I don't know if I'm going to cut these up or not. Uh, use some spray ink with them using dilutions. Any water-based spray ink should work. Just squirting the colors on there kind of loosely. Um, I pick three colors that will blend together and, and make new colors together. The ink is runny, it is gooey, it is wonderful. And I'm just going to put it down. I'm not going to get a lot of detail with this technique, but I get a wonderful background. Problem with spray ink is it looks the same color on the rubber, so I'm actually testing with my finger to try and figure out which end is a light green end, because I couldn't remember. Um, I want to spray the green to get in the same about the same spot. You'll get some color bleeding. There's so much ink on this, I think I can get another impression on it. Um, I'm going to push a little bit harder than I did to make sure I've got contact. Not as much ink showing up, so I'm just going to use the Mini Mister, spritz some water on it, and it's going to wake up the ink that was starting to dry out. If I can figure out where to place it on the page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Brilliance reinkers. I'm using them kind of like a pen and scribble writing and doing whatever. I'm going to bring in some oil pastels. Um, just randomly putting them around. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do at this point. I'm just sort of playing with the colors in the background. Next thing I'm going to use is a white heavy bodied acrylic paint. And I'm just going to smear it on with my finger. It's picking up some of the ink from the reinkers. I did not allow them time to dry. I'm not that patient a person. Um, and I'm liking how this looks, but it's going to take forever with my hand, so I'm going to pull out the gesso and do the whole thing with the brush. <laughs> 